Hi, I'm Nadia, Nadia Kingsley. I run a small publishing house called Fairacre Press in Shropshire in the UK. Uh, today I'd like to read something, two poems, uh, from a poetry collection called The Goldsmith's Apprentice. It's by a poet called Keith Chandler, a wonderful poet who um, I've been lucky enough to publish um, in several of my anthologies uh, and also a, I've published a couple of pamphlets of his. I'll tell you about those in a minute, uh, but first of all, let's get on with it and uh, read, read something from The Goldsmith's Apprentice. This collection won the International Rubri Award for Poetry. And so, very proud of it. Um, oh, there's a one, there are so many different types of poems in here, but I've chosen a couple of very, um, well, they're two of my favorites, so I don't know how to describe them. See what you think. And this first one is called The Skylight. I wish I'd woken you last night to show you how out of a cloudless sky of clearest blue, a huge white moon looked down through our skylight. Not only that, but as the frost got to work, I watched it begin to creep across like vaseline on a Petri dish. Then a blanched fringe of William Morris fronds until what with that moon behind like a searchlight refracted off a billion prisms, I could imagine anything. Ice caves, escalias, seraphim of the four, even six winged kind, covering their faces before a crystal throne, singing hallelujah, hallelujah, silently, of course. For this morning, it has all gone. Just the usual fuzz of condensation. A few dark snail tracks skittering down. I love that. And this one's called Chance. What on earth? Across the seven, high against the gathering night, a flotilla of lights flashing in time, like a Christmas decoration but flying fast. Then we saw a distant skein of swans. Must be. Not the garrulous honking of geese, but silent, a UFO. Not landing lights, but the repeated upbeat of wings catching the last of a dying sun, on, off, off, on. Beauty pulsing into the dark. What kind of luck could bring such phenomena together? Sunset, distances from and between, synchronized strobing of wings. What kind of luck could bring home to me obtuse, short-sighted as I am, you who notice such things. Oh, I think it's so gorgeous. So, um, sorry, I just slept right near the microphone. Hope that wasn't too noisy. Um, so this is called The Goldsmith's Apprentice by Keith Chandler. Uh, there's some funny poems in there. There are some really deep, profound poems, all of them unbelievably well-crafted. Um, Jonathan Edwards says about it that, um, well, he says, to appropriate the ending of a wonderfully moving poem about a nurse, these poems coming as they do out of the best motivations and the deepest artistic rigor are the real thing. And David Morley, he says, it is a wonderful and generous book. Okay, and so I just want to mention um, this wonderful uh, little pamphlet uh, called The Grandpa Years, also by Keith Chandler. Um, 
and these are well can you guess they're all about being a grandpa uh these are wonderful right from ultrasounds and it's fantastic and the other book uh i haven't got it in my hand right now but it's called the ballad of kitty cockroach uh which has got drawings by keith as well and um it's uh it's basically a bedtime story by a grandma cockroach to its grandchild kitty uh so i hope you enjoyed that and that's it for now thanks bye